Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. I need to remember how to do this. It's been a while. It's been 84 years. Wow! Good morning, Trigo! What's happening? Oh, yeah! Just like that burning sensation you get after you've had a piss from catching something off that naughty little Trico, I'm back! The best coach at Letchworth Garden City Eagles. But I'm not here to make it all about me. It's a cup final video special. So you have to go back into retirement. You're upsetting too many people. It's here. It's now. It's game day. And it's back once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's only a short drive for Letchworth under 23s. But 24 minutes and 19 miles than the A1. But it's an even shorter drive for our opponents today who will be making the 10 minute journey at 5.1 miles than the A1 where it's Letcher of Garden City Eagles under 23s v Lemsford Reserves in the Greg Cup final. So with the under 23s already gaining promotion for next season, can we top it off with lifting some silverware? It's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. But anyway, that's another chain. Bollocks. Let's get the football news. <laughs> Even though this is a cup final video special, this is how the current league stands. Letcherif cannot move up or down, but they have already gained promotion. Claiming third spot after 24 games, they have won 15, drawn 4, lost 5, goal plus of 33 on 49 points. And Lentford Reserves currently sit 10th in Division 3. After 27 games, they've won 8, they've drawn 10, losing 9, goal difference of minus 1, and on 34 points. This is what Lentford Reserves' results have looked like. This is a little awkward. <laughs> Sensational. Here's Lemford Reserve's Danger Men. I don't care about the lens. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Let's not go there. Sharpie! With that all being said, it's been a while. You know you've missed it. Let's say it together. Let's get to the ground. Let's get some team news in. Let's win this cup. And then let's... Well, get the fuck out of here. Are the Eagles! <laughs> Sam, I'll give it yeah. You give it me. Huh? I'm what do you say fuck me for? decision because of Charlie's injury to his ankle we've got to protect the, the team so we're going to put Fran on the bench in case Charlie has a relapse on his ankle. Charlie's attitude towards the team has been absolutely phenomenal in his response to how it is and that's the fucking proper teammate there all right. One of their players brother has passed away. The club have spoken about it they'd like to do a minute silence which is why we've got black armbands. We'll be professional and honour that. Obviously it's horrifically tragic what's happened. I can't tell you how proud I am of you how far we've come this season in terms of where this journey began. This is like a bonus night. Obviously, we're here to win the fucking cup, but it doesn't matter what happens. I've been doing senior football for 12 years, and I'm telling you, I've never fucking worked with a group of players that I love as much as you lot. Give me fucking everything. And that's why you promote is 
a very fucking competitive league. Don't go and press them, don't worry about it. We sit in the shade, because what they want to do is they don't even want to go long. And if they want to try and play around us, good luck, because it ain't going to fucking happen. Last week, we went out and we literally went like that to the fucking first whistle, and it was bang. One, two, three nil, half time, job done. Make them worry about the formation, because tactically, the coaches haven't got a fucking clue. They won't have a fucking clue what to do, and they will basically have to sort it out at half time if they can. They've turned up in suits, standing out on the pitch, vaping, smoking, like some fucking big fat gypsy wedding. It's a fucking joke. It's a pub team. This is technical versus stud culture. This is what you're going to face today. Last week was technical v technical. We won the game playing technical football. These lot, if you let them get in your fucking heads and you go into the stud game with them, you're going to lose the cup final. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you play the technical game, just play around with it. What they'll have to do is they'll have to implode. So you'll hear shit like, we'll be first team down to play us. We play football. We do it quickly. We exploit different areas. Fucking go do this. Come on. Come on. inspire you to go out there and fucking die on that pitch to give that and you give that or you get fucking that. Yeah come on boy Jamie Paws defender Liam Muckle defender Georgie Williams centre half <laughs> Charlie Deer right back Mike Smith midfielder Luke Schimmel midfielder Kane, midfielder. Cameron Goodwin, midfielder. Nico Michelli, striker. Lewis Duggan, centre forward. Lewis Hunt, defender. Come on! Ross Harris, the enforcer, midfielder. Ollie Humphreys, midfielder. Austin Christie, defender. Back in them, goalkeeper. <laughs> And Lempsford will get this game underway for the 2023 Greg Cup final. Little Nicky will collect this ball on the wing. He skips past number three. He cuts in on number six, but it's cleared by a Lempsford defender. Not very far, as the new, new, new Alexander Clegg will try and win this ball. The referee's playing a lot of advantage here. Into Kenny Loggins, who will lift this ball long into the box. Keeper will have a little parry and collect that. Can has been put through. Little Nicky to the left of him. He's had a shot. Just wide of the post. The new, new, new Alexander Clegg wanted a cut back. Lens for a keeper unhappy. Kano to collect this ball. Looking for his options. The new, new, new Alexander Clegg has offered his services. He's having a wind up 25 yards out. Just over the bar. He cut back that time. Calling to Lecture with under 23. Says Kenny Loggins will play this in. It's a free header by JP. Goes all the way to the back post to Gorgeous George. He'll play this back in to Little Nicky. Looking to bend one. Not good enough. Kenny Loggins will fancy himself from here as he winds up. He may have missed a target, but he's hit someone in the old boat. That's definitely an eye water on that one. Ow, right in the kisser. Little Nicky's been put through once more. He's only got to hit the beat, but he blazed out over the bar. He's playing rugby list fella. I swear that was a foul after as well. Ref, we should have 10 penalties for that. It's one way traffic at the moment as another free kick is played in. Little Nicky again. I'm convinced he's trying to miss on purpose. JP plays this long. Into the path of Duggan, who has plenty of time to bring that down, make a sandwich and have a fag at the same time. Plays it into the new Alexander Kleb, who looks to carry this ball forward. One little step over, plays into little Nicky. Outside of the boot, is it? Oh, he had to make the keeper work for that one. Great save by the goalkeeper. Danger is not gone yet as Charlie Deer will play into the new Alexander Kleb. Who has a shot and that is over. We thought we'd be kind and let Lempsford have a chance and let him get into our office. Number five plays the ball in. Gorgeous Jules tried to rebound that as number seven tries to tricky. Number nine with a shot. Just wide. At least she got into her half. Well done. Charlie Deer driving forward as he breezes past number 11. Looking to play the ball into the box. Plays it into Duggan who has a touch and a turn and a shot who is unmarked but it's just over the bar. Lempsford to play this long and clear their lines. As the ball's lofted up. It's a one-on-one -on -one between Gorgeous George and Daniel Harper. Gorgeous George has played a poor back pass. Daniel Harper tries to nick in. He's hit the post. Best chance for Lempsford. Let's run a 23 on the attack again as Duggan's gone through. The keeper's made one great save. Kenny Loggins and the keeper's made another great save. Lempsford keeper definitely keeping them in the game right now. He's earning his wages. Little Nicky down his left-hand side as he cuts in on number three. Where's his options? As he goes for a shot, keeper will grab that. Say thank you very much. Is he playing occasion and trying to make it all about him? Little Nicky once again down his left hand side. Number three is trying to close him down as he cuts in. He has another shot. 
just gone wide again. The new, new, new Alexander Kleb was calling. I called for help twice and not a fuck you, what do you need, or nothing. Can you up for sending over his free kick? You can smack him from here, but it's hit the wall. He's trying to recycle the ball. Gorgeous George gets in the way. Now Arthur sticks a leg out, and that'll be a free kick to Letchworth. He can't believe it. Crispy looking to deliver. He sliced it a bit. That should be quite easy for the keeper, but he's found all shit houses there. Keepers managed to recover just in time. Corner to Lempsford. As he goes to the front post, number nine will head that right over for a goal kick. They're trying to claim that's a penalty, but he was halfway down before he even got touched. Batty boy. And with that, the referee calls half time. Are it's still nil nil? I'll never know. You're playing some really good stuff. You're starting to dislocate them a hell of a lot. They don't really have a fucking clue what they're doing. And I'm telling you now, the coaches are just fucking inept. So they won't know what to do to actually change anything. Same energy, same effort. Now the spaces are starting to appear. We're now starting to play more football. They've already stopped running. There's half of them are fat and overweight. They don't want to fucking run anymore. It's a hot night. I want to see more of us going in those wide areas because that's the area that's going to, we're going to really fucking hurt them. They'll start splitting their midfields to try and compensate it. Start moaning at each other, looking at the magic game. What should we do? And they say, I don't know, because I've got a fucking clue about football. Emotional, damn it! Because what they'll probably do is they're just going to lock up centrally. And when you get the ball, we'll hoof it long to the fat fucker up top. They keep trusting yourselves and playing to so keep the energy levels really high. Let's with under 23 to get this second half underway. Will we see end to end action or even a goal? Shit has with a shot just outside the D. Set the keeper, but he's got that all day long. Little Nicky once again. The foot strike, keeper's pushed over the bar. Keeper has definitely had his wheat of bicks this morning. Free kick for Lempsford. There's Charlie Deer and Arthur having a little bit of argy bargy. Dancing, twisting, turning as that ball's played into back post. Crispy will clear that for a corner. Corner to be played in. All the way to that post. Harper's got up. Is it the bar? The referee's seen something. Free kick to Letchworth. Kenny Loggins looking to deliver this ball into the near post. The shit ass has just missed that, but he's got control of the ball. The new, new, new Alexander Klebs calling for it. Shitas is not giving his fight up. The ball's bobbing around. The new, new, new Alexander Klebs. That's a shot. That's gone wide. No, that's for a corner. Kenny Loggins looking to deliver this. It's a little bit deeper this time, but the keeper will have grabbed that one. That's easy for him. Bread and butter. Happy days. Three kids to Lempsford to be played in. Charlie's tipped that over the bar. The first time he's been called into action into this game. Shitas looking to put the ball into the box to try and find Duggan. Number two is at a piss ball clearance. It's a goal! We're winding up in this cup final! Kenny Loggins! The chairman is on the pitch! What is going on? We are leading in the cup final. It's 1 0. Get in there! The Letchworth fans are ecstatic. Rumours is they are massive. Momentum is with Letchworth now as Duggan will play into Kano. Kano will play that over into Rossi and Falsaru. First time ball into Duggan, but the keeper will grab that. He has been fantastic today. Little Nicky on the ball. Rossi and Force has called it for it. He's seen him. He's played pass. Tried to get a crossover, but that's blocked by the defender. Called it to be played in. Gorgeous Jordan at the front post. Whip that on. Duggan. He's made it. 2 0. Yes, 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 yes. Game set match. Happy days. Give us the cup. Engrave our name. We are going down in history as one of the greatest teams to ever win the Greg Cup ever. Unfortunately, Gorgeous George's night came to an end early, but the Lempsters fans was asking what the score was. He was just reassuring him that it was 2-0 to Letchworth, who are massive. Duggan inside the box with a defender to beat. He's cut it back and played into Little Nick, who's taken horrible touch, and he's blazed it over the bar. You are seriously trying not to score. Letchworth on the attack again as Little Nicky playing to the new Alexander Kleb, who's he's knocked it over the bar. This could have been a cricket score today if we had our shooting boots on. And that is it, the referee is blown full time in this cup final. Let's with Garden City Eagles under 23 is winning 2 0. A great win for the club, fantastic achievement for these lads. This is definitely a story to tell the grandkids one day, and lucky enough, I was there to witness it live. Pan to the fantastic Letcher of Massive once again. Up the Eagles. We did it, Kathleen. I knew it. Brilliant. Our time it came. 29 years, Kathleen. 29 years. This is happiness, Kathleen. Sheer fucking happiness. Look at the flag, Kathleen. As the lads make their way up now to go and collect their winner's trophy, their medals, friends, family, spectators, press, King Charles will all in attendance to see this fantastic performance by Electric Garden City Eagles under 23s. Georgie telling them about his big tackle back in the day. Rossi and Forster talking about his fantastic cross that led to our second goal. Nico telling everyone how many chances he missed on purpose. 
Stevie Wonder could have scored about half of them. The new Alexander Kleb talking about how he's missed the open goal and all. And here comes Mr. Letchworth himself, Liam Huckle. And we've lifted the trophy, the 2023 Greg Cup champions, winners, Letchworth Garden City Eagles under 23. The boys are going to enjoy themselves tonight more than I am at a Sunday Chinese buffet. Unfortunately, you've been injured for the last couple of weeks, but you did play in games leading up to this. You cheered the boys on for the sidelines, and I can only imagine how gutting it is for you not to be out there with them. But you're there standing with the cup. Talk to me. What's it feel like winning silverware for Letchworth? First of all, credit to the boys who was playing today. I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah, with the injury, I was gutted not to play. Now the season's coming to an end with promotion and silverware already in your bag. What's our ambitions for next season? Well, I think for the 23s, obviously, we've gone up to Div 1 now. Let the league know what we're about and keep trying to push for promotion into the Prem. All the teams that have gone up last year are up there in the, in the other division. So we've played well, got a promotion, got a cup. What more can you ask for, really? Yeah. Come on! Gentlemen, we have just won 2-0 in the final against Lempsford, winning the Greg Cup. How do you feel? Super Amazing. proud, we're super proud of the boys. Over the moon, mate. Yeah. Onwards to next season, yeah. Division One, and we're going to go and smash it up again. Yeah, and they can yeah, kick us all they like, we'll just keep playing football and keep winning games. That's what we do. Just touching on that, as you say, you've got promotion ready for next season. You've got silverware in the bag already. Yeah. So what's the ambitions for next season? We've got to be realistic. I think we've got a good solid late in Division 1. I kick the first team on. They've been very supportive this year in terms of how the pathways works. We've got four or five of the boys going up, which is great. So obviously those, there's going to be lads coming in that need some time to nurture. So we've got expectations to just compete and that'll be great for us. So the game finished Letchworth Garden City Eagles under 23s 2. Lempsford reserves nil. Overall, a fantastic fantastic season brilliant achievements well done to all players and management team commiserations to Lempsford all the best on the seasons going forward very sorry regarding the tragic news that you've received as well but hey I did say best coach at Lempsford he hasn't done it in a long time I think it's a good time to bring it back you know what to do till next time ta -la. Bye.